Hello again, this is Frederick Puyo with the Clean Energy Institute of GPEX. In this video tutorial, we'll discuss the project database. We'll uh, describe and explain the difference between the templates and the case studies. Then we'll go into explaining the methods that we can use either at the analysis level or using the worksheet tabs in REST Conversion 4. I just started REST Conversion 4 and we're presented with this Start tab in Excel which contains no information yet and we're in the default project type energy efficiency facility type industrial. Um, I could start building my project from scratch or I could use a template or case study to start with. So let's discuss those options. I will start by clicking on the project database link and it may take a while to bring up that uh, window sometimes that window hides behind other windows this is the case here by default we are in the templates tab uh, the templates tab um, contains more basic projects to get started with. I can sort by project type by clicking on the heading project type. I can see here the various templates to start with or I could uh, click on type if I wanted to see for example a specific subtype such as um, wind or photovoltaic. I will select here photovoltaic and I will pick the 100 uh, kilowatt project before I do that let's just have a quick look at the uh, case studies for photovoltaic same thing here I will click on the type and I can see that we have a lot more Uh, range of projects 1 megawatt 10 kilowatt and so forth off-grid on-grid as well as uh, water pumping so different applications so I will start by double clicking on that template and uh, we can see here that by default it's using a method 1 and in the energy model we are also using method 1 for the energy model be aware of the fact that the different um, methods contain data sets that are not necessarily linked for example here if I was to change the power capacity to 200 kilowatt and then if I change to method 2 you can see that it has not changed the capacity but um, if I go to the method 2 for the general analysis type then it will actually use the um, 200 kilowatt you may have wondered why in REST Queen version 4 we only have three tabs by default. This is because the default method for the analysis type is method 1. If you like REST Queen to look like version 3, you need to use method 2. It kept method 1 there so just uh, be very careful with that it's um, easy to um, be misled I'll reset that to 100 you will notice here that uh, the information is fairly basic there is no manufacturer or model which could be changed by using the product database
from the project database, I'm going to uh, go and select a PV case study. Again, it's um, sorted by type here. So I'm just going to go down and look at the photovoltaic and there's an 80 kilowatt photovoltaic project that I'm going to select. At this point, I'm not going to save the file yet. And if we look here in the energy model, we can see that there is a bit more detailed information as far as the manufacturing model are concerned. I hope that you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to work with the Red Screen 4 project database. Note that um, the project database has to be used now for the, the case studies in version 4, while in version 3 uh, you had only access to PDF files. In the next video tutorial, we will show you how you can uh, work with the files and explain the difference between the .ret and the Excel files.